If I had kids, I'd be drunk all the time. <laughs> I might have kids, I, I don't know. I think I do, but I was drunk. I know that. My friends always wish me a happy Father's Day just in case. Yeah. <laughs> Is anyone wearing any Mud Squad stuff? I am. Mud Squad shirt. Mud Squad hat. Mud Squad underpants. Which we're going to make next. We're going to get Mud Squad underpants in every shade of brown you can think of. <laughs> that way you won't see the skid mark. <laughs> Choose the color that matches your dietary needs. <laughs> oh my god. That's good. We should sell them with a little bag of corn. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. He went from here way over to here. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that's just where I am today. <laughs> that's not going to be good. Nope. Hey, and just to let everyone know in the last minute here, um, we are doing three shows today. Mm. Not that we don't, ever. We always do. But all three of the shows are different, which means they are not same. Got it? However, all three of them are equally stupid. So you'll love them! That's correct. You hate stupid shows, kid? You're oh, I kid. thought he said he hated pinky toes. Oh. I couldn't hear him. He hates stupid shows. Well, yeah. sorry, that's about all we have for you. Strap in, you're going to have a half hour of fun. <laughs> half hour? It's a good, this is a three hour show, oh. kid. We're not going to take Oh, we're giving them the director's cut. <laughs> we have a director. <laughs> Somewhere back there. We have a script. <laughs> Here, come on down. I had the time of my life. And I'm there. Thank you. You're welcome. Come on, Bobby. I'm going to go put you in a corner. <laughs> no one puts Bobby in a corner. I'm going to try. <laughs> All right. Hello! Oh. Welcome everyone to our giant pit of mud. Now, before we start our show today, we want to try to get like 500 more people over here. And nothing attracts a crowd of people like a group of people having a good time. So we're going to pretend. <laughs> we're going to do this by making noises from different parts of our bodies. <laughs> no, not like that. <laughs> we're going to start off with hand noises. So I need everyone out there, put your hands up like this, all right? Hands up, hands up. Even the cheap seats in the back, hands up. Hands up! People from Philly just went like this. <laughs> no, like this. All right, what's gonna happen next? I'm gonna take my arms and cross them like this. When I do that, I want all of you out there to go like this. I. But without the dust. All right, we're going to try it with hands up. Everybody ready? ready. And... <laughs> Some of you appear to be suffering from premature clapulation. <laughs> Wait a minute, why do kids laugh at that? <laughs> bad parents, bad. <laughs> All right, we're trying to get hands up. Everybody ready? And... Good. Again. Again! <laughs> I'm not crossing! <laughs> That's alright, the next step is mouth noises. So I need everyone out there to open up your mouth really wide, like this. <laughs> Come on, if we all do it, no one looks stupid! <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> Alright, I need you all to repeat a few key phrases after me. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Aren't they wonderful? Aren't they wonderful? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Isn't the mudbagger incredibly good looking? No. I don't believe it. <laughs> Thank you for giving me something to talk to my therapist about, Poppy. <laughs> hey, for the last step, we're going to put it all together. So, on the count of three, I need you all to yell, scream, cheer, applaud, and go completely out of your mind. So everyone get your hands up, hands up, top, your mouth open, 
Yeah. You're only a ball game, hey. <laughs> it looks like feeding time at the seal tank. <laughs> Alright, three, give it to me. Here we go. Ready? One, two, and three, go! Danger, excitement, and raw sexiness! Bam, bam! Yeah. <laughs> Ow, Ow. <laughs> now then, before we start our show, we do have several brief, but very important announcements. I'm not wearing underpants! <laughs> it, it's a brief announcement! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll go stand over here. <laughs> our first announcement is this! Those precious few of you who are standing in the first, second, and maybe even third row are in what we call the Splash Zone! And there they go. <laughs> Here's a quick note. If no one is sitting in front of you, you're in the first row. <laughs> Our second announcement is this. We have merchandise. Everybody? Everybody? Ah. Everybody! <laughs> hey, they actually did it. <laughs> well, we've got hats, we've got shirts, we got all kind of stuff. And it's all available for sale right over there with our pal Jason. Everyone say hello, Jason! Hello, Jason! So stop by after the show, give his sad little life some meaning, and pick up some swag. Do it! Our final announcement is this. Believe it or not, we actually do this for a living. And my dad is so proud of me! I actually went to school for marine biology. It's not a joke. So close. However, after the show, we will be standing about passing our baskets. If you would, please stop by and say hello and you know, if you can, maybe drop in a couple of bucks. You know, maybe a five, or a ten. Or a twenty! Or a seventy dollar bill! I... <laughs> they make them. I make them. <laughs> anyway, we would love to see you all after the show. Indeed. But now, good people, you are in for a treat. Because we have decided to tell all of you what we did on our summer vacation. Yeah, I want to go first. Let me tell first. Let me go first. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> this past summer, I went down to the Jersey Shore and got myself a job. Ooh, Ooh. were you a lifeguard? No, I started my own reality show. <laughs> <laughs> I, a twisted reality show? It was. I got a job on a fishing vessel catching crabs. Ooh. What did you do, Uzi? Me, I went over to Amsterdam and spent some time in the red light district. Oh. Yeah, I was stuck in traffic the whole time. <laughs> well, those sound like some summer vacations, chums. But they don't even remotely compare to the adventure, excitement, and yes, romance that I experienced on my summer vacation. Oh, really? Why don't you tell us all about it? I thought you'd never ask! I kind of wish I hadn't. <laughs> well, you're going to change your mind once you hear the song that the whole story starts off with. Oh, he's got a song. Ooh. Here's a story of a giant monkey who was living on an island he called home. All the people were afraid that he would eat them, so he was all alone. <laughs> this is the story of a man named Snurfy. That's me! Who explored that island in the sea. He didn't know that he'd meet a monkey. Well, it was big and scary. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. 
Till the one day when my ship wrecked on that island Man. And I knew it was much more than a hunt Man. That this ape would think that I was a banana Man. And I'd become his very yummy tasty lunch He'd be his lunch He would go crunch He'd mistake him for a big banana bunch Cowbell. <laughs> it was a tiny cowbell. <laughs> so, allow me to regale you one and all with a fantastical tale of Mud Pit of the Ape. Can we all call your summer vacation? Sure! Why not? Why don't you fellas go backstage and pick up some costumes? Good know. idea! Right. <laughs> we gotta pick up costumes. Why does all mine on the floor? <laughs> Clean up your room! <laughs> I want the fish neck! All right. There I was, alone, abandoned, in a tiny raft in the middle of a vast and angry sea. I was certain that I would die. Dehydration, starvation, or intense constipation. <laughs> I became so depressed that I cried myself to sleep like an emo kid on a Friday night. <laughs> I was awoken by a curious sensation. Something was bumping against my dinghy. My little ship had struck land. And there, in the middle of the Pacific, I found my salvation on a small, uncharted island. As I strode out onto its sandy shore, there erupted from the jungle a voluptuous native female. Erupt! <laughs> she was young. She was buxom. She was beautiful. Until she got closer. She began to speak to me in a strange native dialect. Uh, uh, I had no idea what this lady was talking about. But the more I actually listened, the more we were able to communicate. I was to formulate a plan. I am first going to have to see this beast if I am to formulate a plan. Right. Tell me, have you given it a name? Oh, yes, yes. We call him uh, Carl. <laughs> Carl? That's not a very scary name for With a K! You say so! We must be stout of heart because the time has come to summon Carl here through the power of native chanting. Hit it! Carl! Carl that's your part. Carl! 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 to the feet. 
fevered pitch of our chanting, the gigantic ape Carl appeared. <laughs> 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 it's an arranged Mickey Mouse! <laughs> <laughs> it's a snowy shirt! It's a tropical island! It's like he's going to a Jimmy Buffett concert! Cheeseburger in Gross 
grossly underestimated the power of this majestic creature. But I knew that there was only one man who could stop this menace. Who? And that was Chuck Norris. <laughs> But Chucky, no, he's not actually back there. <laughs> Disappointed for emphasis. Shoot. No! I was the only man. And so I summoned my courage. Now, you listen here, you funky monkey. Uh. If you don't behave, I'm gonna have to spank you. <laughs> I'm gonna spank the monkey. <laughs> Because the monkey was bad! Of course! And that's what a bad monkey does! That's what you do! A spanking! <laughs> Come here, monkey! I'm gonna spank you! <laughs> oh, crap, it's Carl! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> there was Carl wreaking havoc on the village. Well, that's easy. He already reeks. Hey! <laughs> and I was impotent to stop him. What did you say? I was impotent to stop him. <laughs> Try the little blue pill. Never mind. No one knows uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was then that I remembered the lessons of my master, Usagi Yojimbo. As I studied under him high in the Himalayan mountains of Puerto Rico. There was only one thing that could satiate the primal urges and hungers of an orangutan of this magnitude. A virgin sacrifice. Wait, wait, a what? A virgin sacrifice. <laughs> Tough luck, lady. I don't want to do it, but I thought we had a thing! <laughs> well, I'd love to see you again, but uh, the, people, to the people, think of the people. Let's go! Alright, I'm not going, he said no. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> but Carl had other ideas! He grabbed my beloved and made off with the princess. I wouldn't want to wear you. That's not my name. <laughs> he took her back to his horrifying monkey lair. Wait, back to his what? His horrifying monkey lair. Where's that? All the monkeys have them. It's over there by the stool. That? Yes. It's a very scary stool. It's almost a bench. Just go with it, go with it. Oh, thank you, Carl. <laughs> ah. 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 Who's 
Lucy, were you there? No, I was. I was catching crabs too. <laughs> but you better go back to the lair and make sure nothing bad happens. Uh, oh my! Ah! <laughs> ah! 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 And so, mere disaster averted, they returned to the volcano for the sacrifice. Oh, they changed something in the Matrix. <laughs> it was then that I spied the peril of my beloved from a distant mountaintop. <laughs> Save me! Help me! Save my peril! Help me! No, no, seriously. Save me, seriously. You sure do have a pretty mouth. <laughs> And so I got a running start and leapt onto the edge of the volcano. <coughs> Cover me. I'm going in. Ah! Oh. 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 Hey, hey, look, you left the face print. <laughs> Would you hurry up and save me? I'm coming, woman. Keep your pants off. <laughs> you! Hey. You! Get your stinking paws off her, you damn dirty ass! <laughs> 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 Cheeseburgers had left Carl's heart weak. And it was this that finally killed the beast. It was a miracle. The gigantic monkey Carl was dead. No! No! It was a miracle. The gigantic monkey car was dead. And so I returned to the village triumphant. Hand in hand with my beloved I won a Kalua. And the people rejoiced! Yay! And thus ends the epic tale of Mud Pit of the Ape. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, thank you so much for joining us. If you're going to be standing in the back passing our baskets, please say hello. This really is how we make our living. So if you can, maybe drop in a couple of bucks, a five, a ten, a twenty, heck, even a seventy. Thank you all and enjoy the rest of your festival day! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.